when we got the invite um, and they wanted three weeks <laughs> of dogs, we're like, okay, how do we do this? We put together dogs from, th from out the United States and, and we sort of said, do you think this one will come? Do you think? It was really a silly question to ask because we knew. We knew whoever we would ask, they'd show up. It's just so heartwarming to know that no matter who we ask or far away they are, they're gonna show up because they know that this ministry, the presence of Jesus and the compassion and mercy that we show and the quietness and listening, it works. Hi, I'm Paul Seuss, top dog and caregiver for Peace Comfort Dog from Orlando, Florida. From the very first time that we saw this ministry in action, which was after the shootings at Pulse in Orlando, Florida, we were called by God to be a part of this ministry. He asked us to step up and to come and to provide comfort. We knew when our phone call came to come to Uvalde that we wanted to be here. We know that God works through us. In 2 Corinthians 1, verses 3 and 4, Praise be to the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of compassion and the God of all comfort, who comforts us in all our troubles, so that we may comfort those in any troubles with the comfort we ourselves receive from God. Through this we know that God asks us to comfort those around us in times of need, and just on a day-to-day -day basis. I think this ministry has really taught me to stop and to listen and to just be present. Sometimes just by being present and hearing what people are saying speaks louder than actual words can. But our God is good and he puts words in our mouths at the appropriate time just to provide his love, his comfort, and his mercy to those in times of need. None of this would be possible without our incredible supporters and the generosity of our donors. Your partnership is truly a blessing to us. It enables the LCC Canine Comfort Dog Ministry to reach thousands of individuals each year to share the mercy, compassion, presence, and proclamation of Jesus Christ. Together, we are present and serving every day. Thank you for serving together with us and for your continued support through your gifts, volunteering, and most importantly, your prayers.